Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This is the Velocity One Flight Troubleshooting Guide. So I'm going to try and help you get your Velocity One up and running on consoles like the Series S or Series X and even on PC, whichever you're using. I know a number of people have had difficulties with their Velocity 1. So I'm going to show you the basic setup guide to get the SIP panel working there on the Xbox console specifically. And later on in this video, I'm going to go through a troubleshooting guide as well in case you have your Velocity 1 stuck in update mode or you simply can't update to firmware 1.3.3. I'm going to be trying to give you a little bit of help and tips and tricks there too. Okay, let's not dilly dally. Let's get into this video. So let's start from the very beginning. People who have got past this part, just be patient. I'll come on to more troubleshooting later. You bought a Velocity 1. In fact, let me show you. I'll just start recording on my camera. So there we go. We bought You bought a Velocity 1. You've got it assembled on your desk. You should put the lead, the USB lead from your Velocity 1, obviously, into your Xbox console, whichever Xbox console you have. It should all light up. And if you move this left PLV switch, look what happens on screen on the desktop there. You can see the cursor moving, moving between each app. Now, if that doesn't happen to you or for you for whatever reason, come to your Velocity 1 here. Use your down arrow here. Press that once. And where it's got input mode, press the tick box. Make sure that xbox is highlighted if you've got it plugged into xbox if you're using it on pc highlight the pc obviously i'm on xbox so i'll leave it there use that key there the third button to return to the previous menu whilst we're here i'm going to show you another setting because this has caught people out and you'll need this later so you might as well do it now go down to settings so it's number six option press your tick and then go to status panel mode, press your tick. Make sure that center icon there, like the aircraft, is highlighted in blue. You can move between them using your down arrow. Just make sure that one is ticked, the center one. Otherwise, later on when you install your firmware, your SIP panel still won't work. So make sure that's uh, highlighted. We can return. And I can close down the camera now and continue. Okay, I'm just going to pick up my Xbox controller. As you can see on screen, I've got the Turtle Beach Control Center app. It's about 300 megabytes. If you don't have that, and if you've just installed your Velocity 1 to your Xbox, you're not likely to have it. To get it, go to Store. I'm not going to update now. Just go to the search box here. And a keyboard should come up. Just start typing in Turtle Beach. Turtle. And space. And beach. And there you go. I'm just going to put B. It's the top one there. I own it. If you don't own it, click on it and install it. Once it's installed, it will be on your desktop. Let's go to the next part straight away, shall we? We'll click on the Turtle Beach icon. So I've just selected that with my A button. Control center, it should load up. And you want to choose, it's got various different options here, including the rudder pedals. Interesting. Go to Velocity 1 Flight here. Select that. And it tells you what to do on screen. Plug in your controller, which we've obviously done. Let me just start my camera again. I can walk you through this update. Just bear with me. I've got to turn the camera on first. Nothing like being prepared, as always. There we go. And what we can do here, it says go to firmware mode. So I'm going to use my down arrow to 
I can then use my up arrow to get to settings. Press your tick button in settings. And then keep going down. Bear with me. Chronometer firmware update. Click on that, your arrow. And then move your arrow down so this is highlighted. Update mode is highlighted. And then you would press your tick button. I'm not going to update it. I've got mine updated already to firmware 1.3.3. If you've just got your velocity one, yours won't be doing that. So just press your tick arrow there and then leave everything alone while it updates. Okay, I'm going to come out of that because I don't need to do that. Let me just stop recording again there on the camera. And I can come out of the velocity one. I'll exit that because I don't need to update my firmware. What I will do is let me turn my camera on again in just a second. I'm going to start Flight Sim. So start it. Press record on my camera. Watch what happens now. Because I've updated mine already to firmware 1.3.3, I did update it on the PC. And I know people have updated it on their Xbox and it's got stuck in update mode. I'll come to that in just a moment. But as you can see, with it all working, the uh, SIP panel will go blank at the back. Don't worry. Obviously, it's all loading. And once the SIM loads and you're in a flight, that SIP panel should work properly. Okay, so let me now go to the point where you've tried to update it. It's got stuck in update mode. Let me try and help you with that part. Okay, so let's get to the start, the part of the video, which I think a lot of you will be most interested in. You've tried to update your Velocity 1, the firmware. It's got stuck in update mode. Let me show you an image on screen of that. It's just got stuck in update mode and you can't go any further. You can't use your velocity one. It feels like it's bricked or broken. I'm going to put a link for the Turtle Beach Discord down below in the description. This is the official Discord. This, this should be your first port of call when I can help you so far with a few tips and tricks. If you can't get any further, these are the people to go to. If you're not used Discord before, uh, before, join my channel, uh, Hoddison's Flight Sim channel as well, whilst you're there, if you've not already. On the left here, you've got different channels. Near the top, you've got FAC and Fixes. I've got to be really careful how I say that, but left click on that. Depends where it puts you, if it puts you right at the very big bottom. There's not a lot of posts in here, in fact, it's just a few posts. About halfway up, I'm just using the mouse wheel here. You'll see something called recovery tool. Now there's two options. You can roll back to firmware 1.1.0, which is basically the basic firmware, or you can upgrade to firmware 1.3.3, which I think a lot of you will be interested in because you want to get your SIP functionality working. So we'll go with this one. Left click on that first option here. So just left click on there. It will open a window here which uh, is this window in, in your internet browser. And read what it says there. You need a PC running Windows 10 or 11. Not a PC powerful enough to run flight simulator. So that's a different matter. Just a PC, any PC or laptop running Windows 10 or 11. I'm running Windows 10 for reference. Velocity 1 recovery tool, we'll grab that in a moment. Velocity 1 flight, of course, and USB cables. And assumes the quadrant is connected to the yoke and the, the red cable is connected to your PC. So plug in your Velocity 1 to your PC and the screen will only say update mode only. Okay, so let's follow this. It says we need the recovery tool. Let's go back to Discord and we'll grab that. So option two here the bottom option i'm going to left click on there it will come up potentially dangerous download continue to download anyway i'll let that download so here we go and we'll what we'll do i'm going to unzip this file i'm going to click i'm just going to highlight my mouse over here click that folder show in folder there we go so it's in my downloads folder 
Uh, you need win WinRa or WinZip to unzip this. I'm just going to go to Extract here. So right click, highlight it. Oops, not rename it. Just highlight it. Right click, Extract here. There you go. So our folders appeared below it. And um, we'll come to this later. So there you go. I've got the unzipped file here. Double click into it. We'll come back to that in a moment. It's just going to follow the rest of the guide first. Let's get rid of that. So recovery process. Uh, you want to go to settings, update and security for developers. Make sure it's enabled. So let me show you how to do that on, in Windows. Go to your start icon here. Left click. Go to settings, left click, and then update and security. Yep, you guessed it, left click. <laughs> and for developers, left click. And then turn this on, left click. And it'll say turn developer mode on. Yes, that's fine. So we've got developer mode turned on. Velocity 1 tool now, I've unzipped it. We want to go to that folder where we just unzipped. And on this file, highlight it and right click run with PowerShell. I'll do this part with you. And it's, I think it says there. Let me just see. Press yes on your keyboard and enter key. So let's go back to that. So I'm going to press Y and enter. Found certificates. Enter to continue. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Just going to press Y again there. And I'm just going to leave this now. Don't move anything. Just let it in process and install. Don't worry about that noise you've just heard. I've just been recharging my camera. So it's fully recharged now, I think. So there you go, it's just installing. So in this part, it's not going to do anything to your Velocity 1 yet, which is why I'm installing it. This part should be okay. Your app was successfully installed. Press Enter to continue. And there you go. So there you go. Press your Start button and locate the newest version of Recovery Tool and open it. So I'm not sure where that will be. Will that be under Turtle Beach? This is the first time I'm doing this myself, so I'm doing this with you. Turtle Beach, or would it just be under Recovery Tool? Interesting. Oh, there we go. So that's the Update Tool. It's that one there. And open it. Oh, well, let's open it anyway. Because I, I, not, I'm not going to do this on my Velocity 1. Click the update button, the progress bar will start to fill. Now, the reason mine's not showing uh, click on update is because I don't have my Velocity 1 connected. I don't want to mess around with my Velocity 1. I'm updated to firmware 1.3.3 already. If yours isn't, you're stuck in update mode and you've got your Velocity 1 plugged into your PC, do what it says there. Just click on update, progress bar will start to fill. Process will take seven minutes. Do not click off the app or minimize it. Just keep it. Just leave it alone <laughs> would be my advice. Keep the active window in focus on your machine. If you, re if you click off the recovery window, you'll need to restart the update process. So basically, don't do what I've just done there. Refer back. Once you've clicked update, just leave it on that screen. Let the bar fill. Uh, and then you should be okay. And one last thing. After it's installed... And hopefully it should be working for you. Just go back to your settings. In fact, I've got it open already. And just click re developer mode off again. So I've not got developer mode on. And I can close this window because I don't need it. And your product is now ready to use. Let me know down below in the comments. Did it work for you? 
I could only go so far. I couldn't actually update it because I might actually start uh, bricking my Velocity one as it's already updated. It may or may not. I just didn't want to take that risk. Okay, let me know down below if that worked for you. If not, the only thing I can suggest and the one thing I will suggest and recommend, go to the Turtle Beach Discord. Let them know. I can't help you any further because this is not my recovery tool. Go to them, tell them what's happened and tell them your issues and hopefully they can help you okay let me take you now to one more tip that's caught a number of people out so okay for my last tip and this has caught a number of people out it happens every time with me if i go to options and control options and i've got my velocity one in this case plugged into my pc and i've got pc mode selected I'm on the throttle quadrant, you've got two different parts. You've got the yoke part for PC and the throttle on the Xbox, you'll just have one option. Anyway, go to power management and go to throttle. I'm going to move my throttle in and out, nothing's happening. If I was in an aircraft, I can't power my aircraft up. My throttle quadrant is not working. I'm not sure if this is an Asobo issue or Turtle Beach issue with the latest firmware, but a number of people have reported this. Let me just close that power management. The only way I found to fix this, go to the main menu again. I'm going to unplug the USB from my Velocity 1 to my PC. Wait a couple of seconds, replug it back in. And my Velocity 1 is just powering up, so I'm just going to give it a second until I get the main screen. There it is. Go to my options, go to control options again. Go to Velocity 1 Throttle Quadrant Power Management Throttle. And there you go. It's working. If I was in an aircraft, I'll do the propeller as well. If I was in an aircraft, the Throttle Quadrant and all the buttons will now be working. So if you're having that issue, your Velocity 1 isn't broken. You just need to unplug the USB and re-plug it in whilst in flight sim. Do let me know your thoughts on the video. If it's been helpful, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up anyway. I, I really appreciate that. Subscribe for more. Let me know down in the comments if any of this has helped you. And I'll see you soon.